What's good, y'all? Man, it's your boy One, aka Swag on them. Um, in this video, I'm, game rushers. I don't know where y'all at. Y'all ain't hit me up yet, man. Call me, hit my Gmail, my coin sponsor. Hey, hit my line. I'm, I'm waiting for my payment, man. I, I got y'all. Um, we growing this thing, but I need y'all, man. Pull up. I need a coin sponsor. Y'all, it, it's been it's been two months. Game rushers. Y'all better come back on and man, shoot me my shoot my shoot my email, man. But anyways, we'll go ahead and get started with this video real quick. I'm going to talk a little bit about what I'm doing defensively in regards to abilities. So mainly just defense abilities I want you guys to pay attention to for a scheme that I like to run. A lot of times you guys see me, if you're watching me on Twitch, I usually hop on around 8 p.m. most of the time every single day, every single night. I mean, sometimes it puts your notification on, I might hop on earlier. I want to tell you guys a little bit of my zone defensive scheme that I like to run. Uh, a couple of things. And sometimes we get caught up in the fact of like, oh, the abilities, we need more points, we need a zone corner. I get that sometimes we don't have always the players we want and we don't want to make adjustments I understand that what I have on my abilities bro is extremely special and I think this helps me out on defense I don't really care about the cost I care more about the scheme so what I have right now on, is on my zones I run a lot of zone coverage deep out zone KO works amazing especially with like a zone corner like Dion it's 3 AP yes it's 3 AP but his spill, speed and talent and he's not even at the full strength it's ridiculous how solid he is when he has that blue zone on. I can loot, I can do a lot of stuff on the zone in, in regards to just scheme-wise. We have a zone corner out there that can really play football, and it's blanketed. You know what I mean? What I mean by blanket is you also look at, I have deep out on Amos, so we can run like a cloud type of look. Um, I want to get that ability up. We can run like a cloud type of look where we have a deep third that's like going to the deep third, and then we have a cloud, you know what I mean, to the middle part. And we got the mid zone too, uh, not the mid zone, but the high one. Let's we'll see if we can get that up real quick. So like Jamal, we have the deep deep three. Um, we have that deep end zone KO. So that far middle third, he's got a two AP on that. Really smooth to have him back there. I don't have to have Dion out there with that zone thing, but I like having that extra three AP on uh, Dion that cornerback because I like to be in zone defense sometimes. I like to sometimes zone blitz. And it works it really well when you have to come downhill and make a play. So knowing I have that blanket coverage with the deep out uh, zone with Amos, which is a zone corner, and then also Dion with the outside blue, that lets me know that I have three blanket court coverage in which I can roll my coverage and have these guys still play solid football um, in like a base type of setting. Now for my front side, side, like the interior type of my defense, I have Patrick Willis up there. I have a 98 Sam Mills. I like to just keep him off blanketed. Um, I like to kind of let him do his thing. I feel like if you have that Mutt Master, let him go ahead. Let him just play ball because he's a 98 overall. You can't coach that 93 speed. He's literally a B, so you don't need to worry about that one backer, okay? Now, this other guy, Willis, I like to make sure I have that extra support in the run game. So I have that secure tackler on for my defense abilities in order to really help me out, uh, which is only one AP, and it really help me out in the run. Because if you stop the run, what's going to happen is you're going to force the pass. And if you're a zone guy... You got man corners. You got the lockdown. You got the lockdown zone chemistry out there. So you got good man co co coverage out there, like Pat Traderson, Jalen Ramsey. These guys aren't top tier with this Jalen that we got down here. But Ward, Patrick, um, Dion, these guys are solid guys in regards to just playing man defense. And Sam Mills can be a man too as well. So what I'm getting to, my point is this: if we're stopping the run, we have just enough to stop the run in regards to Sam Mills, 98, Patrick Willis. If we need to go three four, we can have Judah in there. He's not even bumped up all the way. Uh, Lawrence Taylor, Beastie. You guys already know the deal of LT. But these are some super key opponents. Chase Young is a beast. You cannot coach the speed that he has in the D-line. Uh, we take a look at him real quick. I'm not sure if you guys even have him. But if you're trying to get like a really good defensive end, that's a really good defensive end. He's solid, bro. 89 speed right now. 94 acceleration. Tackling 94. He's freaking ridiculous. Um, block shed 91. He's a freaking beast. So if you guys need a defense to end, go ahead and grab him. My D-line is to the point where I don't really necessarily need that much. Um, they do a pretty solid job with these guys up here with Juden and Chase Young. But these are my money makers right here. Uh, Justin Smith, inside zone, only a 93, but I have him at the nose guard position. And we take a look at him real quick. And if you don't have him, this guy's the type of player that you want on your defense. Cheap budget player that you can have in your defense. Does a great job. 82 speed, block shed, pass rush. He's freaking beastie. Um, we have him all the way powered up. And then you also have the inside zone stuff on him. He's freaking beastie down low. 
And what we do for our defensive end is a lot of times these guys are in the inside zone. So to take the inside zone away, I like to have two inside zone stuffers because you can double team one, but you can't double team two. So if you have Donald in there, which is 94 overall, and you have a Justin Smith too at the nose guard position, you have a Chase Young LT that they don't really necessarily, these guys, like LT doesn't necessarily need an ability. He's 96 overall. Chase Young doesn't really need ability. But since he's like a 91, I want to have an inside zone stopper on him in which he can really stop the run and play football. we got speed out here. But these are my money makers. These guys right here really set the tone. Aaron Donald, Justin Smith, in regards to just stopping the run. And then secure tackler too as well with uh, Patrick Willis. And the rest is kind of on me. I have to stop them on the back end. Again, I like zone. I can adjust my outside stuff. This is what I really have going on in regards to just my defense and my abilities. I got, just like I say, inside zone run. My pass rush are good. They need to get, they got, the pass rush needs to get there. We have a secure tackler, zone out. We have the inside zone in for cover three, cut purposes. And then we have the deep out blue. Maybe I don't need it on Dion. Maybe I do. But he's been playing great ball with it, and I cannot complain when you're running some type, type of cloud and you're like a zone type of corner. You don't have a lot of good zone corners in this game. If you guys find some zone corners, please shoot me a comment at the end so I can find them. Other than that, man, I appreciate you guys for tuning in to my video. Um, and, yeah, make sure you guys hit that sub, and I'll be at you guys with some more gameplay. Have a good day. Your boy A1 is out of here.